So I am getting ready to head out to um, the container store to get a design done for this closet that is right behind me. This is in our guest room. Um, I'm not gonna show you the rest of the room right now because one of our boys is painting his room. So he's been sleeping in here and it's kind of a mess right now. And I didn't feel like cleaning it for him because he's 18 so he can clean it himself. Anywho. We have a lot more guests coming to stay um, in the coming uh, weeks and months. And so this closet was a big priority for me just to make it a little bit more usable. Um, I store a few like pictures and family mementos in here that I don't want to keep in the basement. Um, but really it's just kind of a catch-all closet. Obviously I need to clean it out. That right there is actually my wedding dress. <laughs> which has like tape around it. We might want to do something better with that, but I'm going to turn around the camera so that I can show you um, what I'm thinking in this space. And then once we get the design done, I'll show you that. And then I'm going to show you when Scott and I, we will install it ourselves. So we'll kind of show you what that looks like if you are thinking of doing an alpha closet in your home. So hang on, I'm going to turn you around. Don't get dizzy. Okay. So it is basic builder grade closet, right? It's a reach-in, can you see? Just the basic double doors, nothing super exciting. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is right here, um, I wanna put two sets of drawers. I think it would be nice for guests. I have a dresser in this room, but it really is just kind of old and rickety, so I may get rid of that um, and do two sets of drawers in here. I'm gonna do double hang on one side, so short hang top and bottom. And then I do need some long hang because in this closet we keep some things like, um, you know, a flight suit that my brother-in-law gave to Scott and some things like that um, that I need to store. So it will be interesting to see how this all gets resolved. As always, I'm super um, excited when I can get a new closet done and get some better organization in here. So I will um, check in with you guys once the project is underway. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys um, where we're at now. So first of all, this is the contents of that closet. Um, some of the stuff I'm gonna have to donate. That right there is my wedding dress. Yeah, that's my wedding dress. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. I may put that down in the basement. That's probably the thing that is kind of the most important. Here's little Mickey. That was from when um, we did the boys first trip to Disney and it was a surprise. Mickey was holding a little thing with their surprise in it. Um, so that's a super fun memory. However, um, I went to go take, so I got everything out. That's fine. Um, all that stuff is going down to, um, the basement. Um, cause that's all it's pictures and things, but it's stuff that I can put on the shelves that I have down there. But I went, to, here's what I want to show you guys. I went to take out this shelving that I'm sure has been in there since 1995. First of all, it just kind of came off the wall, but there's no way to show you this, but this stuff um, is disgusting. It is so like sticky. Um, I just tried to pull it off and I'm going to have to go wash my hands. So a lot of us have this in our closets and if it's been in there since 1995, I just want to show you it's probably trying to probably time to ditch it. Okay guys. So this is kind of the middle of the stage. Um, Scott, we got all the old closet stuff pulled out, um, including the old, um, rod that was there that just went straight across the top and had long hanging. You guys saw that in the clip before. Funny story, this paint was labeled white, pure white, and clearly it is blue, but I'm kind of loving it because see the bedding is blue and kind of picking up that color and now the closet is blue and I think it was just one of those kind of happy accidents. So I'm um, loving this color. So it's super fun. And um, tonight he's going to put up the top track for me and then I'm going to install um, the rest of the closet first thing tomorrow. So hoping to get that done and then um, I'll show you guys the finished product. Making really good progress. Hello. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I got the closet installed. Next step is gonna be vacuuming, cleaning up. I have a ton of trash everywhere I need to deal with. Um, and then when all that is done, I will 
organize it. I'll put bins back in here and then I'll bring you guys back to show you. But I wanted to kind of just go over the closet with you really fast. Um, there is a shelf and a rod that is on um, back order. So those will come in in the next couple of weeks and I'll install those. But you can see we've got shelves, we've got drawers right here. We've got hanging space there. We've got shelves going all the way up and then more hanging space there. And there's a shelf at the top and I have about um, 14 inches at the top. So I can definitely put some boxes and things up there. This will be um, long hanging. So this is where our longer coats will go. So it took me, um, I'm gonna double check the video. I wanna say, I'll make it turn back around. I wanna say it took about an hour for me to do this. Um, obviously Scott putting the top track up was incredibly helpful, but it'll be much easier to see kind of my vision for what I want this closet to be like once I get all the um, bins and the organization in. Um, so give me a little bit. Okay, you guys, it is finally done. The guest room is finished. It is ready for my friend who is coming tomorrow, um, who I'm so excited to see. Uh, this has been a project. It's been um, about three days, although it's not been a lot each day. It was just one day to take everything out um, and then patch the holes, and then one day to paint, just because the paint had to dry, um, and then Scott put, putting the top track up, and then today, spending about an hour and a half um, in installing the closet and then just getting bins in there and doing things like that. So I'm going to take you over there and show you what we've done. Let me flip this around. So um, there's the guest bed. That's not new, but here we go. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay. Can't really see. I'm going to have to go around this way so you can actually see. So um, what's funny about this house and what I love about this house is there's actually so much space. We don't even need all the space that we have. So the plan with this closet is to leave it mostly empty like you see it here. Um, I've got just some old shirts of Scott's there, beach towels there. I don't know what I'm going to put in those drawers yet. Um, right now I've got just some extra toiletries in here for when guests come. But I've got things that are hung, um, some of Scott's uh, dress clothes that he never wears. Then up at the top, I've got just some bins and things with some pictures in them. Those are bins with pictures. Um, and here I have an extra blanket um, in case my guests get chilly. We tend to keep the house kind of cold at night. In there, I just have a few extra, I don't know, there's like a stuffed animal of one of the boys. So great secondary closet. I think this will actually be really good for when we go to sell the house. So, um, Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. Let's get the light right. Thank you for doing this project with me. This is my first kind of project to film from beginning to end. So I'm looking forward to kind of looking at the footage and seeing everything that we accomplished together. So don't forget to subscribe, um, to like this video if you're watching it on YouTube. If you're watching it on Facebook, please um, follow me and uh, I will be talking more about travel and organization and running and all the fun things that uh, we talk about here at Running For My Life and JenLaForge.com. Have a great day.